love with Pat's two cents. I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen with the rest of this night because I'm getting ready to go to bed. But this came to my mind. Isaiah 51. I don't know who this is for, but I believe God is having me read this to encourage somebody. I don't know where this is going. So there may be Pat's two cents after reading God's word. There may not. But listen, this starts at verse 1 through 11. So hopefully those of you who love the word will listen to the whole section. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are home, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and mine arm shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall they trust. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, and the people in whose heart is my Lord. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake, as in the ancient days, in the generations of old, art thou not it that hath cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that hath made the depths of the sea away for the ransomed to pass over? Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion. And everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy. And sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I hope that encourages you. God doesn't want, this is Pat's two cents now. God doesn't want us worrying and, and, and being fretful over what man can do. God doesn't want us tripping over what might happen or what might go wrong. God renews his covenant with us daily. We must believe in his love for us. We must stand on his favor towards us. As Pastor T.D. Jakes used to say, favor ain't fair. And when God gives you favor, he makes sure everybody sees it. Enjoy your favor. Enjoy God's mercies. Wrap yourself up in the safety of his love, in the safety of his faithfulness and power. God will not leave you. He will not forsake you. No matter what comes, no matter what might occur, 
God has got you under the shadow of his wings. Remember Psalms 91 verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and strength. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop because uh, <laughs> I'll end up having to turn to it. Some of you have it totally memorized. I barely have it memorized. But it is such a beautiful, encouraging chapter. Read it when you have a chance. Read God's promise to you. There's a verse that says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So no matter what befalls us, we can't fall because we're safe in our Father's hand.